Hey, this is Redshirt. I'm here today to talk about Disarm, a piece of software I wrote for removing the weapons and doing simple simple model op editing operations in Warcraft 3. Now, one of the goals of Disarm is to allow you to do things quickly. I'm in a bit of a hurry with life, so hopefully I will quickly make this video for you. Now, if you want to use Disarm, we're going to start off with downloading Disarm. You're going to go on the internet, and you can just Google Disarm. See, mine's already suggesting it, but assume I was you and it didn't. Disarm, weaponless model creator. You type it fast, you load it fast. You click the link loads up disarm weaponless model creator don't bother reading I mean this is just like blah 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 you can use the program blah 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 I mean don't worry about those things you just click this link this link downloads downloads disarm.zip disarm is a program it's in a zip you get the zip the zip's done downloading if my if your internet's like mine your internet's fast you download your internet you got disarm.zip now you can put it somewhere on your computer I'm gonna put it in my Warcraft software folder where I put Warcraft software here it is Warcraft software folder disarm I'm going to extract here with 7-zip. You can use any extraction you want on the zip folder. Extract here, big old green bar. Now I have Disarm. This is my program. This is my folder. Basically, Disarm is already installed, but there are two things. Two things. One, two, you got to do to make Disarm work. Number one, right-click properties, compatibility. You got to make sure you check this box, run as administrator. This box is normally not checked. On my computer, it was checked because my computer's silly. But for you, you're going to check that box. All right, good. Apply. Okay. You're done. Now, the other thing you're going to do, you're going to double-click this arm. You're going to start the program. You're going to get the options menu. This is basically the, the simple installation. It's going to tell you, welcome to disarm. We need to make sure that the program can find your Warcraft 3 MPQ archive files if the texture loader is going to work. Be advised that if any of the other programs, such as Magos or another instance of disarm or Matrix Eater, is already open and using the files, disarm will be unable to use them. Disarm uses them so much that this basically means disarm will crash and close. So in order to make this program work, you have to not open Warcraft and not open the Matrix Eater and not open Magos and only open this program when you open this program. Unless, of course, if you watched my video on how to hack the Matrix Eater, you can hack Disarm in the same way to get around that problem. But it's a shenanigans problem. It's hard to get around. Now I have Disarm open. This is the actual program. Uh, you can use this program. It should be fast. You know, you click unit, get a little bit of loading, load, 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 but it's a fast load. Here you go. You pick a unit. Maybe I'll take a spell breaker. You know, here's my spell breaker. This is my Warcraft unit. You can see it. You can move it around with a mouse wheel drag. You can scroll it with a left mouse button. And you can push disarm now. Some parts of the weapon were found to be connected to the model. It's probably the hand or the arm. Delete them. No. Now the weapon is gone. The hand is still there. Success. We just disarmed a model. Recently I added a new feature to make this even more fun. Add from. Edit. Add from. I went edit up here. Add from. Unit. How about we add paladin weapon to this guy. I click the paladin icon, I click OK. I want to add the paladin weapon, I type in weapon, W-E-A-P-O-N. I click OK. Some more generous based isolation for grabbing parts for the weapons, we're going to click yes. What part of the model do you want new stuff to be attached onto? I want this to be on the weapon. OK. No matching GM, blah 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 blah. Look at this. I made this guy with a paladin weapon. Alright, save. We have a spell breaker with a paladin weapon. Warcraft models. Uh, we're gonna save this. I'm just my Warcraft models folder. I'm gonna call this Paladin Breaker because he has a Paladin weapon on a spell breaker. All right, success. Now you know we want to go fast, so we just want this in the Warcraft editor. I'm gonna start my Warcraft editor fast right now. Starting this editor. Load, 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 load. Now we're loaded. All right, welcome to the Warcraft 3 World Editor. We're gonna make a map with this guy. All right, import, import. Right. I just I want to see this model work. We want to see disarms work in progress. Warcraft models and we're gonna find the paladin breaker which is the letter P paladin breaker I did not save as MDX apparently so that's not gonna be good let's run no it should have well troubles happen today and it's not gonna import let's open it in Magos and convert it everyone loves Magos alright Magos Magos give me give me this model models Paladin Breaker. All right, make this an MDX file. You have to have it an MDX file in order to open it. Uh, mine, something went wrong, and it's supposed to be an MDX already. Save the MDX. Now we've got this MDX Paladin Breaker. I put it in my Warcraft editor. I save my map. Yes, yes, yes. Done. All right, maps, maps. Um, Paladin Breaker. I'm just gonna call my map the name of my model. I just want to see the model work in action. Load the map, save the map, save the map again. Just get it all saved, and then we go in the unit editor. I'm gonna see the Paladin Breaker. All right, here we have Spell Breaker, model file, yep, model file, 
Paladin Breaker. Look at that. It's a spell breaker with a Paladin's weapon. It's a little bit stretched looking there, but you can definitely see it. I'm going to go ahead and make all the spell breakers. Use that. And here's my spell breaker. They're all Paladin Breakers. Look at this. Look at this. They have they have the weapon of the Paladin. And this video can't be more than like five minutes long. So yeah, that's fast. Just fast. Just snap your fingers and make a model. You want to make another one? Let's do it. Let's go disarm. Here's disarm. Let's make a, a sheep-headed grunt. Uh, apparently disarm is already running on my computer, so I just have to find it. Oh no, you can't open disarm and magos at the same time, right? Yes. All right. So now disarm. Still upset. You can't open the world editor and disarm at the same time. It's really a shame. So I'm gonna save the paladin breaker map, and I'll I'll make another video for you guys. This this is good. This is a good video. We're done.